Bonjour. From a basement somewhere in France. A lot of you spotted in the Jacques Vallée interview, which I recently posted, and I'll try and put a link to it above this video, that Jacques Vallée mentioned that the CIA wanted to project the second coming of Jesus Christ over downtown Havana in Cuba in the early 60s as part of a CIA plot to destabilize or overthrow Fidel Castro. During the Watergate investigation, it was discovered that there was a plan uh, originated in the White House to uh, surface a submarine off the coast of Cuba and paint the second coming of Christ over the island of Cuba using holograms, oh, and, yeah. which is well within our technology today. The idea was that since there is a large Catholic population in Cuba, they would be so upset by this vision that this would saturate the communication channels, you know, the telephone system in Cuba, long enough for an invasion to take place. How interesting. I never heard of that. Well, I think that's uh, you know, a classic in psychological warfare, but mm -hmm. that kind of uh, manipulation is, is well understood. And I have personally investigated several apparently you know, genuine UFO cases where there was, in fact, manipulation. My, my conclusion, the conclusion of scientists working with me, was that there was, in fact, a manipulation taking place and that it was not a hoax on the part of the witnesses, but a hoax on the part of somebody much better organized than the Very intriguing stuff and hard to get to the bottom of. But what I found is truly fascinating. Was there a second coming of Christ over Havana in 1962. Well, the CIA certainly played dirty tricks against Fidel Castro with an exploding cigar and maybe making his beard fall out and a classic poisoning his chocolate milk, part of Operation Mongoose, which is well known. But this projection of a Christ figure over Havana has some interesting issues. When I dug into it for you, there are references to an operation to project the figure of Christ over Havana, Cuba in the early 60s. But I want to know how it worked. <laughs> One source says that flares would have been fired from a submarine off the coast of Havana while a CIA silenced aircraft would fly over Havana, sending out audio messages from loudspeakers to trick the population into thinking there was a second coming of Jesus Christ. Or, as Jacques Vallée said, a hologram. Now that's very interesting because holograms were pretty new. Holograms are a laser interference pattern and they were just about invented but I think it's slightly lost in translation. He might have meant a projection of a figure of Christ. So the real question is, did it really happen? And what I found is fascinating. The real clue comes from Jacques Vallée. I think it was never a piece of American technology, but a piece of French technology that can project images into the sky. Let me explain. Regular viewers will know that I've talked a lot about Nikola Tesla and his death ray, and that there was a rival system run by this British guy from Wales, and he sold his death ray projection system to France in the 1930s and 40s, and it was possibly used and adopted by the French. Here's a notice where he projected a giant clock in the sky over London and New York using his plasma projection system. And I've also been researching France's early nuclear program. France was very deeply involved in the Manhattan Project, but after the end of World War II, they weren't a nuclear power. So General de Gaulle persuaded Israeli nuclear scientists to work with the French guys and build their own nuclear deterrent. And that Israeli-French collaboration 
might be the key to the protection of Christ over Cuba. Why? Well, it turns out that during an Israeli Arab war in the 1960s, it, it is well reported that holographic projections were used to scare Arab tank commanders in warfare. This type of projection technology was used by the Israelis in the 1960s. And Israel and France were like this. So is the French scientist Jack Vallée actually telling us all a bit of a secret that it was French Israeli technology on board an American submarine that was going to project an image of the second coming of Jesus Christ over Havana, Cuba in 1962. That might be the answer, but the truth is still out there.